You alright everyone, it's Ace here from Team RCC. Just thought I'd do a quick <coughs> review, not so much a review, more of my opinion on the 0.65 precise elastic. Now I'll have a few shots on the uh, the 40 mil spinner, the green one that's in my portable catch box. Now at first feel with this elastic it's quite a tough draw for 0.65 I'm not saying a tough draw in general because it's not you know what I mean you've got no handshake with it and I'm shooting this max to the hilt but it's heavy in comparison to say a Ferrobang Gold or a, a 0.66 GZK when I first banded it up I realized straight away the elongation isn't quite as much there's not a lot of difference the 0.66 I have been cut into 140 millimeter or 14 centimeter active length and that is literally active from what I'm using. With this it pulls up a little bit short for the first 20 shots, it needs 20 shots to bed in and even then it really is, there's, I'll show you, there's, that's my draw and it isn't coming any further, it, you know what I mean, there's, there's nothing there, another, if there's another 10 millimeter to pull that's it. Personally, I don't really like that. I love shooting maxed out bands, so that's why I can get away with shooting a slightly thinner cut band. Uh, I really do like the feel of it anchoring off, but it's a little bit too much. I don't like the 20 shots to get into it, and also if I don't pay attention, because it's maxed so much, I tend to flip a little bit, and I do get flyers with it. So when I cut my next lot of bands, I'm going to cut them with an active length of 145 or 14 and a half centimeters. It doesn't sound a lot. But it will give me an extra, I would have thought, 30 millimeter on my draw. So it will just take that point of stop away on the bands. And I think it will be uh, much better for me. But you will notice it's a tougher draw than what you'd expect it to be. But power wise, it's absolutely brilliant. It really, really does pack a punch. No trouble killing with this. This taper my active taper on this is around the 23 to 17 mark it might be a touch under 23 but definitely 17 it could be 22 and a half it's not really going to make a massive a massive difference but it does pack a punch you can hear it hitting that catch box it really is a it's a strong band I did actually order 0.7, the red stuff as well, and Dan Kung failed to send it, so I'm going to get onto them and get that sent out, but if I'm honest, I don't need any better band than that. Longevity, the 0.66 GZK was letting me down a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I love the elastic, it was brilliant, but I was only getting around 150 shots out of it maxed out, which uh, it wasn't a lot. GZK bands tends to be quite delicate, unless you're cutting it with a razor sharp rotary cutter you'll get if you get nicks in the side you can tear that elastic this is this feels a lot more tougher and it has been lasting a little bit longer i'm not saying i'm getting a massive amount of shots but i'll be getting another 100 shots more i'd say around about the 250 plus mark not a massive amount but for someone that's maxing their bands right out with a thin elastic i'm happy with that i don't look at it as 250 shots i look at it as 10 band sets 2500 shots so uh yeah so far so good on this band it's performing well for me. I hope that's been informative. I'll be back soon with a couple of builds. I've also uh, put new fibre optics in my clips. We've got green, yellow, orange and red. They work really well. They're also 2 millimeters as opposed to the 1.5 millimeter that I was using. But uh, yeah, I'm shooting alright with this elastic. It's working well for me. Give it a try. Cheers all. Thanks for watching.